As we saw in previous video, we can use surface controller either in one-dimensional domain or in two-dimensional domains. And each one gives a series of options that we can set accordingly. In one-dimensional domain, we will have face, edge, and vertex as elements of your reference objects that you can array on. And then you have these uh, normal options, which is the same subobject elements that you can choose. In this video, we're going to see what actually these options doing. So let's see what I got here. I have an array, then a single box with F15 modifier, on a sphere that I could just cut half of it using edit poly modifier. And then I array the box using the transform property and a surface controller. Now I'm going to deform the box by assigning a surface controller on each control point. So we just need to drag a surface controller. We can use instance and uh, let's pick the sphere. We'll set the surface domain on one dimensional domain and to set the offsets we're just going to use a sub object controller in the vector channel. And as usual, we update all the properties. Each box has been deformed according to the faces of the sphere and it follows the face no more in each point. And because of that, you'll get a gap between each two boxes since these corners are projecting out parallel to the ve normal vector of that face. And because these two are not moving in the, in the same direction, they will get distance as they go far away from the uh, surface. So to emphasize that, we use 5 units for the thickness of the panel. And you can see now the gap between the objects. If you would like to get these points in the same vector, then here you need to choose the vertex as the normal vector. So if the four corners of each box is going to follow the same normal, which is the normal vector at that vertex, these corners are going to meet in one point. So let's try that and see what happens. Now, you don't see any gaps, and that's where exactly these options come to use. Now let's try another surface. I have done this cube here and let's see what happens if I do the same for these uh, these patches around the corner. So we choose all our surface controller here and then we we'll simply change the surface to the box and we'll update the area. Alright, I don't see any gaps but the corner they got a problem and what happening here is that the control point at this location is moving along the vector, normal vector of the vertex same distance as it moving here and since this vector is not parallel to the other uh, uh, normal vector you feel that these corner vertices are bending toward inside when it, they reach to the edge of the cube. Well, you need to push these vertices outside to get these edges in a right angle. So, for that, you can use the normal vector at edge, which actually gets extend the normal vector of the vertices and it gives you the straight angle for the corner edges. So, that's about the choose normal option in one dimensional domain surface controller and remember that works only when we're using uh, faces as the sub object element 